Well, welcome back. And okay. we're going to go to the actual recipe, a mock chicken cacciatore. Oh, this sounds good, honey. It calls for two boxes of Mori Nu tofu extra firm, sliced and frozen, one tablespoon of canola oil, one can of spaghetti sauce, 26 ounce, one half cup of green peppers chopped, and one half cup of onions chopped. Okay. Now, Curtis, I chicken cacciatore. Chicken, mock mock. chicken cacciatore. This is mock. I want you to know that when I was really into the meats and stuff before I got into vegetarianism, okay. chicken cacciatore was one of my favorite foods. Mm, was it really? And um, I, when, I, when I got involved in um, cooking vegetarian, I kept trying to figure out what can I exchange. You know, we always talk about how you can make exchanges, right? Mm -hmm. So in that making of ex exchange, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. We need something that looks like white chicken breast. Okay. Okay. And of course, I count with the um, extra firm tofu. Oh, okay. Um, and now it does, it's, it's, it's soft and everything when it first gets started, but guess what? There's a way to actually get it to have the texture of white chicken okay, breast. Okay, now you, you're telling the audience that <laughs> you're taking the more new tofu that yes. comes in a box. Yes. All right? Mm -hmm. And this is the, what, now extra firm? This is it? The extra firm. Okay, the extra firm. Mm -hmm. And you're going to make chicken cacciatore out of this tofu that yep. comes in a box. Yep. Because what's really in chicken cacciatore is, of course, chicken breast, and then also okay. tomato sauce, okay. and then um, bell peppers and onions. And so we're going to do the assimilation. But now, in order to do that, that the actual tofu and change it over to that texture like a chicken breast, mm -hmm. is a certain process you have to go through. And that is you actually take the, the extra firm tofu, and I'm going to turn it over because I'm going to open it up. And we've got to get it out of here so that it stays in a square block that it's okay. already in, okay? Now, we take this off. I already did the top one, and then you cut through, and you're gonna get a little bit of a liquid, so let's just do this. So now, this is one of your favorite dishes. Yeah. We never had chicken cacciatore coming up. Really? Never in my life. Okay, well, you're gonna have it on the show in the day. How oh, about that? I had it at home, too. Okay, now. Okay, put that away for me. All right. All right, now, you can do this a couple ways. One, you can actually just slice straight down, okay, which you'll see in a minute. Okay. Or you're just going to make three slices. You're going to go straight down the middle mm -hmm. with your knife. And you're going to do it a second time. Nice and silken. Nice and silken. And you get three pieces. Now, with these three pieces, Curtis, what we're going to do is we're going to take our saran wrap and... We're going to put each one of those squares inside of the saran wrap, okay? You just move that up here, and can you take that off of there? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no, honey, what you're doing is you're oh. cracking it. Oh, cracking let me, it? Let okay. me just do that, please. Okay, I'm doing that way. Okay. Yeah. You're going to sit it in there. I'll try to help out. It's okay. That's all right, baby. You're going to sit it in, and then you're going to just fold it over. Like so. Then you're going to put your next piece on. Mm -hmm. And you're going to fold that one over. Like so. And you're going to wrap it up like that. And we'll do that last one. And that's actually going to go in the freezer. Now, it does take a while for it to get ready. So it does, uh, when we say several days, about okay. at least three days. Mm -hmm. Three days. Now, what I usually do is I, I make this up. I know I'm going to have chicken cacciatore that week, so I'll make it up on the weekend, and that way it's ready when it's time, okay? And it actually goes into the freezer. Just like that. Just like this, okay? Now, you use extra firm. This is the extra firm. Now, so the soft nope, or the firm is firm. not going to... Nope, nope, nope. we got to get a chicken cacciatore. Now, let okay, me show you something, though. When it gets ready, this is what it looks like. Now, I just did it a long way. It looks just like this. And let's just say we took it out, okay? And once you're ready for it, you unwrap it. Now, this has been in the freezer for, for three days. Three days. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you so just it has take the and unwrap it. of the meat type texture. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you're going to take a paper towel because the excess water is still there. And what I usually do is just take my paper towel and I just lean it on top. Oh, okay. To get the water out so that it's not so much liquid there and actually dry it up so it's like a, an actual um, chicken breast piece. Okay. You know, not a whole lot. You're just trying to get some of the moisture off of it, okay? Mm-hmm. All righty. 
See the difference how that yes, looks? Yes, okay. Okay, and you can do the same thing on the back of it also, but I'm not going to turn it right to second. Mm. Now, in the skillet, okay. we've got the oil. we got the, the canola oil, one tablespoon of canola oil, and you're going to get those peppers and stuff ready for me. Okay. If you would, just go ahead and start chopping those up because it calls for um, a half a cup of chopped green peppers, and it calls for a half a cup of onions. All right, chopped. And this spaghetti sauce is actually any spaghetti sauce you can use. Um, I just happen to be using a spaghetti sauce that has garlic and herbs already in it, okay? So I'm going to put the oil in. Once again, reminding the audience that if you want to use less oil, just turn the skillet on and then let it, the oil go in there, okay? And you're getting that ready for me. I'm going to move this all out the way. Okay. Now, how did you prepare chicken cacciatore? I mean, the regular well, the, way. Well, the original chicken cacciatore is actually is a, a fry. You fry the chicken, fry it first. Okay. okay. And then once you fry the chicken, then you do the same thing. You just have your oil. You've got your peppers, your onions. You can have garlic, and you actually put that all together and sauté it. And then you pour your, sp your spaghetti sauce over top of it. You can bake it in the oven and leave it on top of the stove. Mm -hmm. In this case, we're going to leave it on top of the stove, okay? And so if you would, yeah, we're going to go ahead and too? put the onions, mm -hmm, the okay. onions and the peppers. And that's what actually gives it that cacciatore flavor, okay? Move these out your way because I'm going right. to have you just go ahead on and put those straight in here, okay? <clears throat> okay, I guess you're waiting on me, huh? I'm just waiting for you to finish that up so I can put mm. that. I'm going to move everything out your way, and you're just going to deliver that straight over here to me. Okay, All right. where'd it go? Right in here. We'll get a little bit faster on this. Yeah. Got to after about a few years of doing this. Okay, here we go. Now, I know you were trying, probably wondering to yourself, okay, how long? How long does that sit? When you bring it out the freezer, it has to sit for an hour or so, so it can begin to thaw out. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, you know, you're not going to you're not going to do it frozen. So once you pat it down, mm -hmm. it's going to be because it already has thawed out. All yes. right. And then you're going to just saute your onions and your peppers. Mm -hmm. Okay. This gives a nice smell. Once again, we will start fanning that out so that uh, we let the camera crew. All the camera smell crew. It. Yeah. 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 Work yeah. it, baby. Yeah. Work yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. And after this sautés for a few minutes, Curtis, then we're going to take the tomato sauce mm -hmm. and we're going to put the tomato sauce, okay. a little bit of the tomato sauce on top of that. Any type okay. of tomato sauce? Well, or? this one here is um, a garlic and um, herb type of a sauce. There's all type out there. Mm -hmm. But this one has garlic already in it and it has extra herbs in it. So I like that flavor it gives off. Oh, so okay. that's why I'm going to use that all one right. there. Let me just move this around a little bit more. See that smell is coming up. All right. Mm -hmm. And I only use about half of the sauce to start off with. Okay. I'm going to let the cacciatore just bask. Oh, yeah. Get it, get it ready for the piece that's going to go on top of it. All right. And this also can bake in the oven. If you put this in the oven, you would put it, um, you know, in your um, 9 by 13 glass dish. You want it to lay flat. It has okay. to lay flat. It can't sit on top of each other because, you know, once again, you're dealing with a delicate product, mm -hmm. which is the uh, tofu. All right? And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the tofu. And if you give me that spatula right there, right here. this one. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to take each one of these, and we're just going to lay them on top. Turn that down. So now no seasoning has to be added to this tofu. I mean, it's, it will pick up the seasonings. It will pick up the seasoning it's because of the tomato. Uh, the, yeah, yes. because of the tomato. And you can smell. Doesn't it smell good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now this is in one, what, your this first cookbook? This is in the first cookbook. Your first cookbook. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And it's going to pick up the flavor of this sauce okay. itself, okay? Then we take and just pour the rest of the sauce on top. Mm -hmm. Chicken cacciatore. Mock chicken cacciatore. Serve us up with uh, noodles or brown rice. Mm. Okay. And what we're going to do, how's that look? That's, that's going to, that's doing good. good. Give me that spatula. Oh, here, I, I, I got it. I got okay. it. Get all the goodies out. Yes. All the goodies. Mock chicken cacciatore. And of course, we just talked about the. <clears throat> Inflammation process, and one way to measure that is the CRP. 
But one way to get that CRP down, information process, of course, is soy. Yes. The soybean can uh, lower that uh, information process along with cholesterol as well. So this is the way to go. Chicken Cacciatore. All so right. we want you to stay by to see the finished product.